Right now, hidden inside the Milky Way, there's a star spinning so fast it's almost breaking reality itself. Scientists say it's one of the most extreme objects we've ever discovered, so heavy and unstable that at any moment it could collapse into a black hole. And here's the part that sends chills down astronomers' spines. The light we see from it is ancient. It traveled for thousands of years before reaching Earth. Which means, for all we know, this star may already be gone, swallowed by its own gravity and we're just staring at its ghost. This isn't science fiction. This is happening in our galaxy, right now. To understand how such a terrifying object comes into being, we need to start with the life and death of massive stars. These giants burn bright and hot, but they burn out quickly. When they run out of nuclear fuel, their core collapses under its own crushing gravity, triggering a supernova so powerful it can outshine entire galaxies. But the explosion doesn't erase everything. Instead, what's left is transformed into something stranger. A neutron star. Neutron stars are mind-bending. Take the sun, a blazing sphere, 864, thousand miles across and compress all of that mass into something the size of a city that's what a neutron star is the densest known form of matter that can still exist without collapsing into a black hole to put it in perspective a single teaspoon of this material would weigh more than mount everest a sugar cube of it would punch through earth's crust and mantle as though our planet were made of paper these objects don't just bend our understanding of physics they tear it apart but neutron stars have another shocking trait. As they collapse, they spin faster the same way a figure skater spins faster when they pull in their arms. Some neutron stars rotate hundreds of times every second. And because they're charged with powerful magnetic fields, this rapid spin creates deadly beams of radiation that sweep across space like cosmic searchlights. Whenever one of those beams happens to point toward Earth, we see a pulse, a perfect, repeating flash that makes the star appear to blink. That's why we call them pulsars, the lighthouses of the universe. When Jocelyn Bell Burnell first discovered their signals in 1967, she and her team thought the regular pulses were too perfect to be natural. For a moment, they even labeled it LGM, Little Green Men, thinking it might be an alien transmission. But it wasn't aliens. It was something far stranger, a dead star, spinning with mechanical precision, sending its heartbeat across the cosmos. Most pulsars spin and flash in silence, but a rare few are predators, and astronomers call them black widow pulsars. These monsters share space with smaller stars, and they slowly begin to consume their companions. Bit by bit, they strip matter from their partner, feeding on it like a vampire in the dark. The stolen gas spirals into the pulsar, heating up, spinning it even faster, and adding more deadly weight. This process is slow, but relentless. Over time, the companion star shrinks to a fraction of its original size, whittled down until it's barely more than a cinder. Some Black Widow pulsars have been known to completely destroy their partners, leaving nothing behind. It's cosmic cannibalism and it's the reason these stars are so feared. Because the more they eat, the more unstable they become. And when they cross the critical threshold of mass, the inevitable happens. They collapse into black holes. And among all the black widows in our galaxy, one stands above the rest. Its official name is PSR J0952060607, but astronomers know it as the Reaper Star because it's not just extreme, it's the most extreme pulsar ever found. This star spins 707 times every second. Let that sink in. In the time it takes you to blink, this star has rotated hundreds of times. Its surface is moving at nearly the speed of light, dragging space itself along for the ride. If Earth were placed near it, entire continents would be ripped apart in microseconds. And it's not just fast, it's heavy. Nearly two and a half times the mass of our sun yet crammed into a sphere only 20 kilometers wide. That's like squeezing billions of skyscrapers into the size of a city. No other neutron star we've ever seen is this close to breaking point. Scientists believe it's right on the edge of what physics allows any heavier, and it should no longer exist as a star at all. And here's where it gets even more unsettling. 
the Reaper star isn't finished feeding. Orbiting nearby is a companion, the battered remains of a white dwarf star. Slowly, relentlessly, PSR J09520607, dripping it apart, atom by atom. The more it devours, the heavier it becomes. And when it finally crosses the invisible line between star and singularity, it will vanish in an instant, becoming a black hole. No warning, no explosion, just silence. So what happens if the Reaper star finally crosses that line and collapses into a black hole? Strangely enough, the universe wouldn't put on a show. There would be no supernova, no dazzling fireworks, just silence. One moment, the star would be there, flashing 707 times per second. The next, the pulses would stop forever. It would simply vanish, leaving behind an invisible black hole. And because it's nearly 14,000 light years away, we wouldn't know until long after it happened. If the collapse took place a thousand years ago, we wouldn't see the consequences until thousands of years from now. But when it does, the effects could ripple through space in unexpected ways. Some scientists suggest that the collapse could send out gravitational waves, tiny ripples in space-time itself, detectable here on Earth. Others warn of intense bursts of radiation, like gamma rays, that could streak across the galaxy. We wouldn't be in direct danger from that distance. But the fact that such an event could happen silently, without warning, is a chilling reminder of how fragile our place in the universe really is. As terrifying as pulsars can be, they aren't the worst thing out there. Some neutron stars evolve into something even deadlier magnetars. If pulsars are cosmic lighthouses, magnetars are cosmic doomsday machines. They have the strongest magnetic fields known in the universe, a trillion times stronger than Earth's. To put that in perspective, if a magnetar appeared halfway to the moon, it would erase every credit card on Earth instantly. If it came closer, its magnetic field could tear atoms apart ripping the iron out of your blood. In 2004, a magnetar located 50,000 light years away unleashed a flare so powerful that satellites in Earth's orbit were blinded by the blast. And that was from across the galaxy. If one were to erupt within even a few dozen light years of Earth, the radiation could shred our ozone layer and strip away the shield that protects us from deadly solar rays. Life on the surface would vanish in an instant the only reason we're safe is distance. But space is vast and unpredictable, and stars don't always stay where they're born. Neutron stars, pulsars, and magnetars are not stationary. They move, often at incredible speeds. Some are ejected from their birthplaces and sent hurtling through the galaxy at hundreds of miles per second. If even one of these stars wandered into our neighborhood, the consequences would be catastrophic. A pulsar passing through our solar system would destabilize planetary orbits, pulling worlds off their paths. Its radiation would fry the atmosphere of Earth in seconds. Oceans would boil, skies would burn, and life would be extinguished almost instantly. But if it were a magnetar, the end would be far stranger. Its magnetic field would reach across millions of miles. Before it even arrived, atoms themselves would begin to unravel. Molecules would come apart, and the very matter of our planet, including us, would simply dissolve. Earth wouldn't be scorched or shattered. It would be undone. And yet, despite their brutality, pulsars have a surprising secret. Some of them have planets. In fact, the very first exoplanets ever discovered, long before astronomers confirmed. Planets around sun-like stars were found orbiting a pulsar called PSR B12. Five, seven, plus one, two. Three rocky planets circle this dead star, proof that even in the aftermath of stellar destruction, worlds can form. But these are not Earth-like havens. Bathed in constant radiation, scorched by deadly beams, they are among the most hostile environments imaginable. If life ever emerged there, it would have to hide underground, shielded from the star's relentless fury. The existence of these planets raises haunting questions. Are they survivors from before the supernova, clinging to a dead sun? Or were they born from the ashes, formed from the debris of destruction itself? Either way, 
They remind us of something profound that even in the shadow of death, the universe finds a way to create. Pulsars, black widows, magnetars, these aren't the stuff of science fiction. They're real. They're out there right now. Spinning, feeding, collapsing, and reshaping the galaxy in ways we're only beginning to understand. The Reaper Star is proof of just how extreme the universe can be. A star that spins faster than anything we can imagine. A star that devours its companion, growing heavier with each passing moment. A star that may already have collapsed into a black hole without us even knowing. It's a reminder that the universe is not calm or safe. It's violent. It's unpredictable. And it's filled with monsters we're only just beginning to see. Right now, one of them is spinning on the edge of collapse. The question isn't whether it will fall into darkness. The question is when.